Hi, I'm Ellen. I've been a florist for 15 years and I'm growing a community of flower nerds online. This video shows my visit to the LA Flower District. There were more cut flowers packed into these few blocks of downtown LA than I've seen anywhere else before. It was huge and urban, gritty, bustling. I even ran into an old flower friend, if you can believe that. I'll show you the scope of the district from the blocks of street-facing storefronts to the massive, and I mean massive, warehouse markets. This is the biggest flower market in the country. All of the big wholesalers are there, along with every variety of color of cut flower in the world. If you're a flower professional, or a tourist, or just a flower lover, put the LA Flower District on your bucket list. Oh, look at these. Italian ranunculus, 20 bucks a bunch. Whew. Look at the size of these. That is like massive. I like these sweet peas. Oh my God, the fragrance. The stem length on these. Are these, are these dyed? Yeah. I'm so curious how they do it. I think they get like a bucket and dip it. But it looks like the stem is not like very no, colored. The, color does, the stem doesn't change colors. Yeah. I think it's probably because the way the, um, the stem is dark. And yeah. The yellow, the yellow don't catch to the dark. Yeah. Wow. They also have pink ones too. I saw the pink ones at a hotel recently and I was wondering the same thing, like how they did it. Well, I, when they're in a hotel, they kind of look artificial. Yeah, right. That's why I wasn't sure. Like, uh, makes sense. They're real. Wow. This cherry is so tall. Oh, it's peach? Yeah. Hmm. We usually get them from growers pretty closed, mm -hmm. but these seem pretty open. They were pretty closed Monday. Oh, really? But since we leave them out here. Yeah. And since oh, so they don't go they, like in a cooler during uh, the, they just stay out they here. They just stay outside, yeah. I recognize you from the flower world. What's your name? Oh, I'm Ellen Frost, Ellen? local I'm color Seth. flowers. Nice, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. you. I think I, Are you in the ASCFG? I, well, I used to be. Oh, yeah. I'm like, uh, I, spiritually, I am. I think I met you a long a time ago. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you, you too. Uh, Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah. Cool. So this is our first time at the LA Flower oh, Market. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Cool. So love it. Yeah, really so cool. We're, Gather Floor is also up in San Francisco. Okay. Um, and it was started in like 2018. We're just this is all like local wow. organic stuff. So do you? Are you the person who like works with the growers to get um, stuff? I'm, or? I've been. This is my job for two. Two weeks now. Oh my god, so, really? Yeah, so, um, but I, I've worked for a decade up in uh, the Bay Area as both a designer and a grower, yeah. so I'm kind of in a unique position here. And Cool. Um, so yeah, it's, it's you know, it's it's a interesting, we work with a lot of smaller farms. Yeah, Come yeah, hi, nice to see you. you. Yeah, see thanks you. so much. Yeah. There's butterfly ranunculus too. One thing that's weird is to see like all of the things that are not in season together, together, like Lysianthus and butterfly ranunculus. That's not, they should not be together. Buying freesia for 180 a stem right now. 170 to 180 a stem. That looks like a 10 stem bunch for five bucks. So I think this is mimosa, which is like super popular right now and we don't have it and people always ask me for it. I think this is it. I mean, I've never even seen it in real life. Is that yellow there? Is that mimosa? Mimosa? Yeah. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I've never seen it in real life. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty. Good, how are you? Are these, are these, um... Japanese sweet peas. This is their color, not dyed. Uh, yeah, this dyed. That one's dyed? These two. Oh, those two. Yeah, that one's natural, everything. Okay. I feel like with the new 
colors coming on the market, it's hard to tell what's dyed and what's natural. Every rose is has the outer petals reflexed. It does. It's like perfectly folded down and then they're reflexing every one. Yeah. 